हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज संदीप रतूरी एंड इन दिस एक्सरसाइज आई विल शो यू हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई न्यू वर्सेज रिटर्निंग कस्टमर्स बेस्ड ऑन दियर ट्रांजेक्शन हिस्ट्री इन पावर बी आई एज यू कैन सी दिस इज द ट्रांजेक्शन टेबल डेटा इन दिस टेबल वी हैव डिटेल्स ऑफ कस्टमर ट्रांजेक्शन बेस्ड ऑन द ट्रांजेक्शन डेट वी विल डिटरमाइन वेदर कस्टमर इज न्यू और रिटर्निंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल कस्टमर आई डी वन जीरो वन मेड ए ट्रांजेक्शन ऑन जनवरी फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एंड देयर सेकेंड ट्रांजेक्शन वॉज ऑन मार्च फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर फॉर द फर्स्ट ट्रांजेक्शन वी विल मार्क द कस्टमर एज न्यू एंड फॉर एनी सब्सिक्वेंट ट्रांजेक्शन वी विल मार्क दैम एज ए रनिंग कस्टमर नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द प्रैक्टिकल पार्ट टू अचीव दिस वी विल क्रिएट ए कैलकुलेट कॉलम to categorize the customer type right click on the data set name and select new column first we will provide the column name customer type and after that write this dax code to achieve the new versus returning customer type now i will explain you this dax code in detail so as you can see that here we used many dax functions if calculate count rows filter all and earlier dax function so now let's start from if dax function so if dax function will check the inside condition if this condition is true means output of this condition is greater than 0 so it will return the returning customer else new customer and then we used calculate so calculate function modify the context of a calculation by applying filter it is commonly used to change how data is filtered within aggregations it counts the number of rows in the transaction table but applies a specific filter as you can see here after that we used count rows dax function so it will count the number of rows in a table it is useful for determining how many records match a given condition it will counts how many transactions exist for a specific customer before the current transaction date next we use filter dax function so it will return say subset of a table based on a condition it returns all past transaction of the same customer id before the current transaction date and then we use all dax function so it will remove all filters from a column or table so here transaction is table name it ensures that we check all transactions to determine if there were previous purchases and in last we use earlier dax it refers to the previous row context in a calculate columns commonly used to compare a row to other rows in the same table it compares the current row customer id with previous rows customer id and checks if the date of the previous row in earlier than the current row if a match is found the transaction is label returning otherwise new now click on commit and you can see here customer type column has been created now we will use this column in table visual so just select the table visual and add the customer type column in the column section of the table visual now you can see the output of the customer type column for a customers first transaction it will show new and for any subsequent transactions of the same customer it will show returning for an example customer id 101 made a transaction on january 1 2024 so for the first transaction it will mark the customer as new and for any subsequent transactions of the same customer it will mark them as a returning same you can check for the other customer so for an example customer id 102 first transaction was on 1st february 2024 here you can see the customer type is new and for the customer id 102 second transaction happened in 1st june 2024 
सो दैट इज द रीजन इट इज शोइंग कस्टमर टाइप इज रिटर्निंग नाउ आई विल शो यू हाउ यू कैन कंपेयर न्यू वर्सेज रिटर्निंग कस्टमर बाय टोटल रिवेन्यू सो फॉर दैट वी विल एड वन कलस्टर कॉलम चार्ट इन द पावर बी रिपोर्ट पेज एंड इन द एक्स एक्सिस ऑफ द कलस्टर कॉलम चार्ट we will use customer type column and in y axis add the revenue column and go to the format tab and from here just enable the data labels here you can see the comparison between new versus returning customers based on their total revenue that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you like the video please like share comment and subscribe to the channel for more videos thank you